Hey guys, Aswa here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, part of my recreation of uh, the Pico update in um, Friday in Unity. So if you don't know, I have my Unity engine, Friday Night Funk, I think, called U Slice Engine. Uh, so yeah, and what I did is um, I decided I'm going to be recreating uh, the new Friday Night Funkin' update, the playable Pico update, inside of U Slice. So First of all, uh, this is going to be split into three separate videos. So the first video, the one you're watching now, is going to be the character select. The second video is going to be a small one, and it's going to be the two new erect songs that have been added. And the third one is going to be the longest one, and it's me uh, making and coding all the new uh, Pico songs. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to run over what is in each scene and the design process behind it. So this is the main menu of sorts. Essentially all it is is it's literally just an image with some text and then we have a script down here which I'll show you what it does. So our script here what it does is it waits for the user to press tab and then it loads uh, character select asynchronously um, so it's a more smoother type of loading. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So at the moment you just hit tab, wait a couple of seconds and then it goes into the next scene. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the scene for you guys now and then once I show you everything in it I'll go over the code. Okay, so we're in, we are currently in the, let me just turn, turn that down. Okay, so we are currently inside of the, um, thing, uh, the menu here. Uh, let me just turn it up a little bit for background music. There you go. Uh, so what you can do is you can click around on the locks to select a character. Uh, it doesn't do anything, whereas if you select the one next to Boyfriend and hit enter, it unlocks uh, Pico and Nene. Uh, you can click that to swap your character. And then if you hit F1, you can bring up the help menu where you use the mouse to select a character, enter to confirm, and then you press escape to return to the menu. So say, for example, uh, I wanted to play as Pico. If I hit escape now, it does a small fade out and we get loaded into this scene, which is the Pico mix free play. Whereas if I go back into character select now, if I were to come here, If I were to keep Boyfriend selected and I was to, to hit escape, it would take me to the Boyfriend free play, which is the normal Erect mixes. So yeah, now I'm going to be going over everything inside of here. So first, let's just have a look at, little look at the scene, obviously. So what I'm doing is the style of my engine is going to be 3D mixed with 2D. So obviously, I have a nice little stage asset I downloaded from Sketchfab. Uh, as the stage and I have some multicolored lights shining down and then for the characters I have a character thing here uh, all it is is it's just uh, boxes with sprites on them we have one for the player and at runtime what what this does is depending on the character you select it swaps um, from BF chill to where is it I'll swap from BF to Pico it depends on who you're playing as and then we've got um, the locked player asset. Uh, this just uh, has a simple animation on it. If I open up the animator here, uh, it's literally just the locked player idol, which I grabbed from the in-game assets. Uh, then we have Buddy, the original Buddy, which is um, Jeff. You can't really see it because Nene, uh, Nene is in the way. And we got uh, Nene. Uh, the reason why I made two and I didn't swap the sprites it's because there was a bunch of weird errors going on with swapping the sprites around and it, it was really way too many size differences. And what we have here is we have our, mm, quite a big script. Uh, this is the character manager. Uh, this contains everything for loading characters. So what it does is it finds the intro video first. And if we don't have Pico unlocked, 
Uh, it swaps his icon on the character select to a lock. And it sets the screen so you don't need to uh, act active or to invisible so you don't see them. And then all that jazz. Um, we have camera pan down here. Which what this does is this is just a simple um, animation where it pans down, uh, shows the UI, and then does the music sliding at the top so you know what song you're listening to. And we've got selected character. This is how um, our scene loads. So, for example, uh, it checks the sprite of the player. Uh, if the sprite is equal to BF Chill, then BF is selected. If it's equal to Pico, Pico selected. And then what it does is um, when you press escape, it checks um, which sprite icon you have and then loads the scene accordingly. And then finally, last but not least, uh, the real bane of my existence for this whole thing uh, the image or the images so you've got a uh, Pico here for example um, he has two different scripts on him he has the locked character select script which what this does is um, it interacts with the character manager and it plays animations so what it does is uh, when you originally select a character which is what uh, char selected is for uh, it just gets rid of all the images and it shows the locked character uh, it then checks his it then checks if the uh, button you've clicked or the lock uh, belongs to a certain character. If it does, um, if you have selected it and the character has already been unlocked, it will show the correct sprites. Else, um, it flags can be unlocked to true and allows an input on that specific one. Because, for example, if I try to press enter on any of the other locked characters, it wouldn't do anything. It only works on Pico. And then if it's equal to BF, it just sets back to the original. And if it's locked, it just shows the locked character. And then we've got our unlock character uh, with a string of character to unlock. If our character to unlock is Pico, what it does is it plays a flash and swaps the sprites over, which you can see here. And then Pico also has a final script for him by himself. Uh, I completely forgot what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um... I have no idea what this is for, uh, I, I, I was coding it and I forgot halfway, uh, so that's fun. Um, no idea what this does, um, as far as I can tell, the game uh, runs perfectly fine without it, so yeah. Uh, don't get any errors from not assigning anything, so that's cool. Uh, then, last but not least, uh, we have the music. Um, I was going to use the Stay Funky intro, but uh, timing wasn't adding up. So instead I'm just using the basic background music. So yeah, that is it for this episode. Uh, the next episode, if you want to see that, is going to be um, making the erect songs. You can have a look at the, um, the gameplay. Or I can either that or I can, uh, I'm planning on remaking uh, Papa's Pizzeria in um, base game Friday Night Funkin'. So let me know what you want to see. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Astro Dev, out.